Welcome to the LightStar 4D tutorial section dedicated to LightCalc, the Lighting Design module. We'll now see how to create a simple project for interiors. In the first place, and to simplify the task, we'll import a DXF file using drag and drop. The displayed window allows to check the size, which must be in meters, and the position of the DXF in space. To facilitate the graphical tasks, the program allows a simultaneous use of several views. Clicking on the icon Advanced Interiors, we will begin to draw the area, tracing the DXF directly with the mouse. By holding down the X key, the pointer will pull towards the design snap points. While holding down the right button of the mouse, it is possible to draw curves. Then, clicking on the Enter key, the perimeter of the room will be closed. At this point, a window in which you can set the characteristics of the area will appear. By clicking on the color box, it will be possible to choose the colors to which the default reflections will be assigned. By editing the area and with the right button of the mouse, it will always be possible to modify the characteristics of the surfaces. To create new materials, To add textures, scale them up and down if necessary. and set the diffusion, specularity and transparency values. In this particular case, we have assigned to the floor the characteristics of parquet flooring. Once the area has been created, we can begin to add furniture, importing it directly as 3DS or OBJs from an external folder or by creating them as extruded objects. All that has been said regarding the area creation applies to model creation as well. To correct a mistake, simply click on the Backspace key. After closing the model, a window will appear in which it is possible to set the height of the furniture. The model will be placed at floor height by default. 
To change the coordinates, it is enough to select it and type in the new values in the properties or move it with the mouse. As for the area, by right-clicking on the furniture name and then on Modify, it will be possible to edit and modify the characteristics of the surfaces. Once selected, the surfaces will be highlighted in the model. In this case, we'll create a new material by assigning to the desktop the characteristics of glass. We will, therefore, change color, transparency, diffusion and specularity. Obviously, the material must be assigned to both the upper and the lower surfaces. You can choose the furniture to be used in a project through the internal libraries using, as always, drag and drop. In this case, we'll add the chairs for our desk. Clicking on the icon Duplicate will copy the furniture and clicking on the Cartesian axis will move it along the same axis. Alternatively, by clicking on the tag for both axes, we'll move our object freely on the two axes. Then, selecting the icon Rotate on the right of the drawing, it is possible to rotate the object keeping in mind that in this case the rotation relates to an axis at a time. As happens with all objects, and even for those inserted from the library, their materials can be edited and modified. At this point, we'll insert the luminous automatically by clicking on the icon Add Luminous in Groups. Even luminous can be added using drag and drop from the program modules or from an external folder. We'll then type in the required illuminance and click on the OK button. The luminous will be placed automatically in the area. To add a photometry, such as an OXL file, simply open this win, select the file and drag the picture to the design area. If it is linked, as in this case, the luminar model will be visualized within the file. It is possible to carry out all the previously described operations in Luminous as well. To display the photometric solid, simply select the option Photometric Solid in the View menu. Once the data entry has been completed, and by clicking on the Start Calculations icon, the Calculation Settings window will open. If the direct plus indirect component is selected, the calculations will be made taking into reflections into account. Once finished the calculations, by clicking on the close button, 
The results summary window, in which it is possible to select the surfaces for which we wish to see the values on the plane, will open automatically. Selecting the perspective view, you can set a frame to create an image rendering. By holding down the ALT key and clicking on the left button of the mouse, the area rotation will be activated. By holding down the scroll wheel of the mouse, the pen will be activated. While holding down the shift key and the left button of the mouse, the zoom will be activated. Once the view is set, saturations can be modified by clicking on the icon Tone Mapping. To make a rendering, simply click on the icon Start Rendering with Ray Tracing. To end with, and to obtain a color scale, simply click on the icon View Pseudo Colors and save the image obtained by clicking on the icon Capture Image. Once all these operations have been completed, the project can be printed by selecting the option Print Out from the File menu. From this window, we can get a print preview. Thanks for your attention and enjoy working with LightCalc.